Once you've opened a new Mathematica notebook, you should have something that looks like this. So let's say we want to plot something like the sine function. So in Mathematica, you use the plot function, which starts with a capital P. And actually, let me increase how big everything appears here. I'm going to go to 150. Okay, so the plot function starts with a capital P. And you just type plot and then an open bracket and a closed bracket. Now in between the open brackets we need to indicate the function that we want to plot and over what values for the independent variable. So if we want to plot the sine function we use sine, which we have to start with a capital S for sine, of x and we put the x in square brackets and then we put a comma, and then in curly braces, we indicate the values of the independent variable x that we want the plot to be over. So we start off with x to indicate that's our independent variable, and then we put a comma. And uh, let's plot from negative 5 to 5. So we'll have negative 5, comma, 5. Now in order to run the command, I can either press shift enter or I can press the enter key that's over by the number keypad. So I'm going to press shift enter. And there is the plot. It's generated. Now suppose I want to put more than one graph on the same plot. And the way I can do that is put curly braces around my function and then after the first function I'll put a comma and I'll put the next function that I want to plot. So let's say the second function I want to plot is x squared minus 1. So x squared minus 1. And now if I press shift enter I see x squared, that's the purple curve, and the sine curve is still in blue. So I can keep plotting more functions, but just separating them by commas. So let's say the next function I want is the square root of 4 plus x. So square root is SQRT, again with a capital S. And then in square brackets, we will put 4 plus x. And again, if I press shift enter, now I can see the square root function is this sort of yellowish curve. The purple is still the quadratic, and the sine is the blue curve. And I can keep adding as many functions as I would like in this fashion. And if I want to change the values over which I'm plotting the function, so let's say I just want to plot from negative 4 to 2, I can change those values and press Shift, Enter, and generate the new graph.